hi guys welcome back to my channel um i just wanted to do a quick project share with you guys while i have you here um this is a loaded envelope that i made for a swap um actually it's for my swap group on facebook and the instructions were to make a halloween loaded envelope which I'm going to show you the contents right now, but really quickly, I just wanted to show you what I did on it. Um, so I used the Pinkaboo paper pad, the 12 by 12 paper pad, and I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to do three pockets or yeah, uh, two pockets, <laughs> um, but uh, it's not double sided paper. So I ended up having three sides to it. Um, if you don't understand what I'm saying, you will once I unravel the envelope. But um, so here's the back. So I, as you can see, I used the um, web pattern with the gold foil web. And then I wanted to make it looked like the spiders were crawling on there, so um, I added the spider stickers that I had from Michael's. And then, in the first pocket, um, so I added, this is from the um, Dollar Tree stickers, the Boo. I knew I wanted words on there. And then these wooden um, stickers are also from the Dollar Tree. And these um, spider stickers are from Michael's. I wanted to add that um, spider element on the front as well. So like they're crawling. And then I put in, so I put in some paper dies that I had from a Halloween kit I bought. I figured I should just use all my Halloween stuff up. So these are extras I had. I put them in her um, little package. I made these um, crepe paper rosettes. So I have white and that's a web kind of doily that I have from or a web die that I purchased and then these stickers are from the Dollar Tree along with the felt one and then this flat back is from Joann's and then I have um, this Crepe paper rosette. So I added some tulle. Um, it's white tulle with the specks, as you can see. And then the two little gemstones on there. Um, this sticker is from the Dollar Tree. I know that it's in reverse, but I thought that gave it some character. So I wanted to keep that on there. And then this um, sticker is a Jolie's Boutique sticker. So it's a pumpkin, obviously, or a jack-o'-lantern. And I thought that was cute with the little whimsical leaf on there. So I thought that was really cute. And then I gave her some, um, uh, I guess, ephemera. So some sequence ephemera. And then I made that um, bag topper. So basically, I just used one of the patterns from the Pinkaboo paper pad, and then I glued on the web um, die, and then the spider sticker. Um, I have a little clothespin, which I put a sticker on from the Dollar Tree, and then the witch's hat also from the Dollar Tree. So that's that. And then um, all my loaded envelopes, for some reason, I like to do a little twisty with the pipe cleaner there's nothing it's attached to it's just a gold pipe cleaner that i like to do a twisty on so i thought that was cute and tied in with the gold um foiling of the paper and then i gave her some cutouts i want to add the cutouts so i'm going to cut a few more out uh, the second pocket also has a spider on there. And then this sticker I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a banner sticker. And then I gave her some 
paper clips. This one's a ghost, and this one is a pumpkin, just to add to her envelope. And I also gave her a handmade crepe broom I made. As you can see, there's washi on it, and then this little um, <coughs> sticker that I made, I put on there. I didn't make the sticker, I'm sorry. I had that I put on to the broom. It's a bow, and then with a little gemstone. And then um, the third, or the second pocket, I put in some doilies, some pastel doilies to match the pinkaboo paper. And then this little guy, the washi samples. Okay. And then this little crepe paper rose, rosette. Um, so it has lavender, I know you can't see it, but it's lavender tulle. And then this little sticker is from the Dollar Tree. I die cut a scallop circle and then I added some gemstones. And then I just fussy cut this um, from a scrap of the Pinkaboo paper pad. And then I added a little star on there. And then... Sorry, you guys. Um, this little um, bat clip I got from the Dollar Tree. And then so she has that. The little paper clip. I gave her some paper straws, Halloween themed. Paper straws. And then another bag topper. So in the little Halloween kit that I purchased, it did come with um, bag topper dies. So I decided to use it for her bag. And the interesting part is that I made this bag topper and I just glued it onto the bag topper that was already cut because I thought that was neat. Um, so I gave her an extra bag topper that she could make. And then some cutouts from the Pinkaboo paper pad. So that one and this one. And then, for some reason, this is stuck. It's probably stuck onto the tape. One second. Let's see here. What is it stuck on? Stuck on something. There we go. So I gave her this. I totally did not use these stickers from Michaels. So I gave her these. They're bedazzled um, skeletons. And that's the third sheet. I really love this ghost, so I wanted to use up the paper. I had two full pa uh, pages, so I wanted to use up the paper. And then as you can see, I just added washi at the top there just to decorate it. I added the black scalloped washi, the glitter washi, which is my favorite, and then um, the thin washi. And then I added a paper die, a butterfly paper die from the Halloween kit I bought from Nifty Crafty Me, and I'll link her below. She does not have a YouTube, but she does have a, a um, Instagram. So that's what the envelope light looks like empty. Okay, and then the back. And this is for Regina. Um, I believe she does not have any type of social media except Facebook. So I hope that she really likes it. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Happy Halloween Eve. And I will see you soon. Bye guys.